I'm gonna do something in Excel that can give you a, more of an idea of what a, a table might look like. So you're gonna have a table name, and we're gonna be lazy. I'm gonna say person, and then let's make this a little bit bigger. Let's put it there. Okay, and we'll make that bigger. So we just need to just need to see two. Okay, so person, and then person we could well. No. This is going to be the types that we're going to use. Oops, I don't know why I jump over there for. Okay. And so, in this, we're going to have a username. Or, well, a user, uh, user ID. So, we're just, going to, we're just going to give this an int value. And I don't like this. Uh, why is it doing this to me? Let's shrink this up a little bit, maybe. Okay, and then we would have first name, and the first name would be a bar char. It's just easier to do it that way. And here we can say we will, uh, your driver's name might be, I can't think of any names longer than 26. And we definitely want this to be not null, because we want people to fill this out. And we'll say last name, be the same. Um, well, let's say 30, I guess. What am I doing? That doesn't go there. Maybe bar char. That's fine. And we would just keep going on down further and further until we until we figure out what a person actually was. For right now, this would be good enough for a person. So this is kind of doing it kind of setting it up a little bit, just kind of getting an idea of what it might look like. But instead of doing that, let's just go ahead and we're going to jump into um, uh, PHP My Admin. We're just going to make a new one and we'll, we'll go to, let's see, database. We're going to create a new database. We're going to call it um, Call person. Sounds good to me. Great. So, and we have, do we have a new database called person? So we're going to click on this, and we're going to say, hmm, let's see, I messed up some. Let's say, do 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 do. Okay, we're not going to keep person. We're actually going to, oops, refresh. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and check this and drop it. And uh, yes, what I'm going to do is I'm going to call. Let me go and call people. People. That makes more sense. People. And then we'll click on people. And inside people, we're going to uh, make a table inside that database called person. And a person is going to have. We're going to say. Hmm, how many do we need? Well, we got ID, first name, last name. What else could be for a person? Do, 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 the age. That should be good enough. So we need one, two, three, four, four fields. And I like to do that just to kind of see what all do I need. So the four. Okay, so we have our columns, and like I said, um, we can do, I'm just going to do ID, I'm just going to cheat, and length, it doesn't really matter, attributes, no, let's see, we want, index is primary, and we want that one to auto increment, this means it just goes up on its own, and this one we're going to do, first, underscore name, that's going to be a bar char, and length is uh, 26, sounds good. And attributes. Oops, I'm wrong one out. Not that one. That's defined. Last name. Again, bar char. 26. That's defined. And age. Int. No more than three characters long. And that should. Yeah, that 
that should work. So we'll go, then we'll press go. Don't press save, you press save, it'll add another row to this column. So hit go, and everything is and of course I just screwed it all up. Ha ha ha! Oh, ho, ho. Let's see. I'm just putting garbage in here. That's fine. Let's save. I'm going to hit save and I go. So, let's put this back over here. And, uh, where's it at? Person, and we will, let's see, this one. We will drop that. Yes. Okay. So we got our ID, first name, last name, and age. So I think I'm gonna probably stop it right here and pick back up in a little bit. Okay, bye.